Have you ever had a conversation with someone and they spit in your face while you were talking? You know, accidentally. Have you ever sneezed? And, and maybe you know this little droplets on the table where you sneezed. Or maybe you sneezed and you spit on the window or the table. And you see little droplets that came out of your mouth. Well, these little droplets are the carriers of the COVID-19 virus. See, these droplets are the transmitters. They're what we're out to protect ourselves from. Droplets. It's not contact with skin or the contacts with someone else or the air we breathe. It's these little tiny droplets that we're out to protect ourselves from. These droplets come out of everybody's mouth when we talk. But not all of them hit us in the face. The droplets are still there. Every time we have a conversation with someone, these droplets are coming out of their mouth and their nose. But every time we have a conversation with someone now, they spit in our face. It's just that we can't always feel it when they do. Now, when I first talked to my mom about this COVID-19 virus, she'd already heard about it from on television. You know, she's 86 years old. My dad, he just passed away not long ago. He was 92. A lot of wisdom there. My mom called it the plague. She said her mother was born in 1910. She'd lived through a plague. She said, son, the best way to protect yourself from this plague is to pretend like you already have it. She said, if you act like you already got it, you probably won't get it. Well, you know, I laughed that off when she first said it. I thought it was pretty funny. But then a few days later when I was watching on television, I, I noticed some medical professor or some doctor Offer that same advice. Act as if you already have it, and you're probably not going to get it. So I started to ask myself questions, of course, and do a little research. Act as if I already have it, and I probably won't get it. Hmm. I asked myself, if I already had this virus, and I knew that I had it, would I venture out into public places if I already knew I had this virus? I asked myself, would I wear a mask on my face if I knew I already had it? it? Would I sneeze? If I sneeze, would I cover my mouth or nose if I knew I already had it? Well, I've heard that 80% of this virus is transmitted through droplets. So by wearing a mask, I'll increase the possibility of not spreading a droplet by 80%. The next method I hear the transmission is through picking up the virus on our hands and actually touching our face. I've heard it explained that the viruses are actually alive and it wants to get into our mouth, nose, and eyes. So by touching our face, our mouth, nose, and eyes, we're actually carrying that virus to the place it really wants to be. That washing one's hands 10 times a day might increase the possibility of not getting it. I've heard by 55%. I've also learned that a human being unconsciously touches our face at least 200 times a day. Every five to seven minutes, we touch ourselves in the face, our mouth, nose, or eyes. That would be a pretty hard habit to break, but it would be worth trying to or to make some effort to pay more attention to how many times a day that we do touch our face. This virus can live on different surfaces for a long time, as many as three days to five days on some surfaces. In other words, if this virus is alive, say on a doorknob or on a table or on a piece of cardboard, and you touch that living virus, it's transferred to our hands. It's waiting on the next time. It's waiting on the next five minutes to be transferred into our face. So it makes sense that washing our hands and disinfecting would lessen that possibility. So by washing our hands ten times a day, wearing a mask as much as possible, and keeping a good social distance from people to avoid the droplets, it'll increase the possibility of you catching this virus or not catching it by 90%. Think about it.